Official ROS 13.1 has been rolled out with the latest build date of June 7, 2023. In today's video, I'll explore all of its new settings, features, customizations, and most importantly, I'll compare it with its previous build to determine whether it's a downgrade or an upgrade. So make sure to watch this video till the end as I will also provide my honest opinion regarding this room. So hello and welcome to Cracksoid. As you can see, this is ROS 13.1 which features the Android security update of May 5, 2023. Moreover, it uses Quicksilver kernel. And if we take a closer look at the build date, we can see it is June 7, 2023, making it the most latest build. Additionally, this ROM is running on latest Android 13. So let's jump right into the first section of our video, its features. Camera. Let's kick things off by discussing the camera features available in this room. Just like its previous build, ROS 13.1 comes equipped with the MI camera. With this camera app, you have a range of options at your disposal. You can capture slow motion videos, short videos, as well as regular photos and videos. Furthermore, the room includes a fully functioning main camera sensor and portrait mode. I am pleased to report that everything within this camera app is working flawlessly without any bugs or issues. User experience. Next, let's jump into the user experience of this room. One of the standout feature of ROS 13.1 is its smooth and seamless performance. I am pleased to report that the room runs without any lags or slowdowns, significantly enhancing the overall user experience. An improvement worth noting is the resolution of the lagging or stuttering issue in the quick settings panel from its previous version. This means that you can now swipe from the top and access the quick setting panel without any interruptions, which is truly impressive. Overall, the user experience of this room is exceptionally impressive. It offers a user-friendly interface, runs smoothly, and delivers exceptional speed. Navigating and using this room is an absolute pleasure. Google Photos Storage Now let's talk about the remarkable unlimited Google Photos Storage feature on ROS 13.1. This room includes the highly sought after feature allowing you to upload an unlimited number of photos and videos without any concerns about storage limits. Unlike an Evolution X ROM, the unlimited Google Photo Storage feature is not disabled by default on ROS 13.1. You won't need to perform any extra steps to enable this feature. You can simply enjoy it right after installing this ROM. Having unlimited storage means you can capture and preserve countless memories without worrying about running out of space in the Google Photos app. Wallpapers and Style now let's explore the wallpaper and style section of ROS 13.1. In terms of significant changes, this version does not introduce any notable updates compared to its previous build. The default wallpaper remains the same, offering a single option. However, when it comes to customizations, the room provides five different gradient colors to choose from within the basic color options. Additionally, you will find familiar features such as the dark theme, themed icons, app grid, icon font, and shape options. From the app grid settings, you have the flexibility to choose a grid size of up to 16 to 6, allowing for ample space to store your apps. Quick settings. Let's now take a close look into the quick settings panel of ROS 13.1. This room excels in providing a smooth and lag-free experience in this section, which is a significant highlight of this version. While the room may not offer an extensive array of fancy tiles and customization options, it does provide a selection of important and useful tiles for daily uses. This includes handy features like the QR code scanner, compass, calculator, night light, always on display, and extra dim, among others. These styles can prove to be valuable tools in your day-to-day -day activities. Private DNS Let's now explore the private DNS feature of ROS 13.1. Within the network and internet settings, you will find the option for private DNS. 
This feature allows you to set up a private DNS provider for your device, adding an additional layer of security and privacy to your browsing experience. However, similar to its previous build, AROS 13.1 does not offer any predefined custom DNS provider names. This means that in order to use this feature, you will need to manually input the DNS provider's IP address. It would be convenient if future updates of the ROM include custom DNS providers by default, making it easier to switch or change DNS settings. Apps Now let's jump into the app section of AROOS. As in the previous version, AROOS 13.1 includes the parallel space option, which allows you to create clones of existing apps. This is particularly useful if you need to manage multiple accounts for an app without the hassle of constant logging in and out. Additionally, the ROM offers the screen time feature, enabling you to track your phone uses and manage your screen time effectively. In terms of the default launcher, AROOS utilizes its own Arrow launcher, which is essentially a launcher 3 variant. While it may not provide an extensive range of customization options on the home screen, it excels in delivering a smooth and stable user experience. Some noteworthy features of the launcher include the ability to display the Google feed, double tap to sleep, and the previously mentioned parallel space functionality. It's worth mentioning that there haven't been any changes in this section compared to the previous build. However, it's important to note that one major feature that seems to be missing in recent updates of custom ROMs including this one is the option to hide or protect apps using a password. While it's possible that the option may be located elsewhere within the ROM, we'll have to explore further to confirm its availability. So stay tuned to the video to find out. Battery now let's dive into the battery settings and see if there have been any improvements or changes as i have mentioned before having the battery percentage option easily accessible within the battery setting is crucial and convenient for users i am pleased to report that aros continues to provide this feature in its battery setting which i personally appreciate here you will find options such as battery uses battery saver adoptive battery battery percentage and low battery light which blinks the LED light when the battery is low on your device. Speaking of changes, there is only one notable alteration in this version. In the previous build, there was a battery manager option located below battery server. However, in this latest build, it has been replaced by the adoptive battery option. This is the primary change you will notice in the battery setting. On the other hand, in previous builds, there was a battery icon style option for further customizations, allowing users to personalize the battery style. Unfortunately, this feature has been removed and has not been brought back in the latest build. Additionally, I mentioned in my previous review video of AROOS that one disappointment I have with this ROM is the absence of an extreme battery saver option within the battery saver settings. This feature is highly useful when your device has a low battery percentage. I kindly request to the developers to consider including this much needed feature. However, aside from this, I am fully satisfied with this ROM. In terms of battery backup, you will be pleased to know that AROOS provides excellent battery backup. You won't be disappointed by the longevity of your device's battery while using this ROM. Display now let's explore the display settings where you'll find a range of options and customizations to enhance your viewing experience. One notable option is the dark theme which allows you to switch to a dark interface. What's even better is that AROOS includes a custom black theme option which forces your phone to use a pitch black background color providing a truly immersive dark mode experience. As you scroll down to the bottom of the display settings, you will come across another useful feature that I highly recommend enabling on your phone, the network traffic indicator. This feature provides a metric to measure the amount of data flowing through your network. Usually displayed as a small icon in the status bar, it gives you real-time information about the current data transfer rate. However, unlike some other custom ROMs, the option to display the network traffic indicator in the quick setting panel is not available in AROS. Security Now, let's discuss the security feature of AROS. In terms of biometric authentication, you have both the fingerprint and face unlock options. Unfortunately, on my phone, the fingerprint sensor is not attached as I have removed it. 
which is why you do not see it in the settings. Additionally, I noticed that the fingerprint and face unlock options are grouped together in one setting section. In other custom rooms, they are usually available as separate options allowing users to utilize face unlock even if the fingerprint sensor is not present. It would be beneficial if Arrow is provided separate settings for fingerprint and face unlock to accommodate users in such situations. On the topic of security, there is one feature that many users have been waiting for, the app lock feature. This feature allows you to lock any app with a password, pin or pattern, adding an extra layer of security to your sensitive data. This can be particularly useful if you want to prevent unauthorized access to your personal information. However, it's important to note that ROS does not include a hide app feature, which some users may have been expecting. This means that you cannot hide specific apps from the app drawer or launcher. Xiaomi Parts Alongside the various features we have discussed, AeroOS also includes Xiaomi Parts which provides additional options to further enhance the device experience. Xiaomi Parts offers a range of important settings to customize and optimize your device. One notable feature is the MI Sound Enhancer which enhances the audio quality and provides optimized output specifically for headphones. Additionally, Xiaomi Parts offers options like clear speaker, display color calibration, LCD features, ambient display gestures, and vibration strength. These options allow you to fine-tune various aspects of your device's audio, display, and vibration settings, providing a tailored experience to suit your preferences. Gesture AeroOS provides a dedicated gesture setting within its system setting, offering users a range of customization options to enhance their device experience. Let's explore some of the useful gestures features available in this room. One handy feature is the ability to enable the quick touch by long pressing the power button when the screen is off. This allows for convenient access to the flashlight without needing to unlock the device. It's a small but useful addition that improves the overall user experience. Another noteworthy gesture setting is the option to customize the action performed when you long press the power button. You can choose between displaying the power menu or activating a digital assistant like Google Assistant. This allows for quick access to commonly used functions and can be tailored to your preference. Additionally, if you prefer to have options for recovery and bootloader in the power menu, you can enable the advanced restart feature. This allows for easy access to these options directly from the power menu, streamlining the process of entering recovery or bootloader mode. You can also adjust the hold duration for the power button, providing further customizations that enhances usability. Furthermore, AeroOS offers the swipe to screenshot feature allowing you to capture a screenshot by swiping three fingers down on the screen. Once captured, you can easily share, edit or delete the screenshot. However, it's important to note that the search lens option which enables searching the screenshot using Google Lens is not present in this room. This gesture feature provides added convenience and customization options, improving the overall user experience and making device navigation more intuitive. Antutu Benchmark Scores Let's conclude this review by discussing the Antutu Benchmark Score of AeroOS. As shown, the ROM achieved an impressive score of 252703 on the Redmi Note 8 device. When compared to its previous build, the previous version had a good score of 207429. It's worth noting that the Antutu score we obtained in the latest version is based on the recent update of the Antutu Benchmark app. This update has shown slightly higher scores compared to the previous build. We'd like to extend our thanks to Mr. Tusar, one of our subscribers, for bringing this issue to our attention and helping us gather this information. Conclusion In conclusion, AeroOS 13.1 continues to deliver outstanding performance with impressive smoothness, stability, and battery backup. The ROM offers a seamless user experience and provides a nearly pure stock Android experience. As I have promised to give my honest opinion, there are not any major significant changes or improvements compared to its previous build. It's worth noting that the ROM is free from any major bugs or issues. It maintains a focus on simplicity rather than flashy customizations which may appeal to users seeking a stable and straightforwarded ROM. Based on my personal experience, if you are looking for a room that offers stable performance and prioritizes simplicity over extensive customizations, 
arrowOS 13.1 is definitely worth considering for your device. I hope this review has provided you with valuable insights and guidance regarding the features, performance and overall experience of arrowOS 13.1. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked our video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksuit. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.